Hello once again class. We are now going to look at capacitors in parallel. Okay. So how are we going to configure that? Still take our trusted breadboard. I'm going to lock them in. Okay. to show you what I've done. Okay, so if you if you look closely, I have them in the same leads. I as well have the positive side on one side connected together. This is the same thing as twisting them together as if they were out of the board. Then I have the negative side on the other side. So I'm gonna run some jumpers to that. Okay. This is really about the configuration of electric devices on to prototyping boards, and that's what this is. We just call it breadboard, because um, I guess it looks like a breadboard. So the capacitance, remember these two capacitors were, both of them, they were one microfarad a piece. So in this particular case, See if I can get this to work right for me. In this particular case, the capacitance has flipped out on me. Uh, let me see if I can get this right. Okay. Just push those in. The capacitance is now 1.93 microfarads. It's almost two microfarads, but it's about 1.917 microfarads. So that lets you know that in this particular configuration, when they are in parallel, the capacitance increases. Okay? So all you're doing now is just adding the capacitors together. Okay, and you should see this in the formulas that we're going to derive using the conservation of energy as well as the conservation of charge. 